The price of this sucker wrecked off the auction with fees and all. All right, guys, so check this out. Before this video gets started, I do want to mention that we still got a couple more of these Goon Squad Signature Series Audi R8 Decenium sweaters right here. These suckers are going to be history. You got the number right here, 211 out of 222. These suckers are super soft, and there's just a little bit more on the website. So if you guys want to have a piece of Goon Squad history, be sure to visit GoonSquad.com and help support your boys. But as of right now, let's get to the video. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the original Goon Squad garage and today we're actually not going to continue working on this 2020 Audi R8 because we basically got this sucker 100% finished. In the previous video we buttoned it up and also we hit the roads, did some absolute ripping. This thing is just an absolute blast out there. But you know what? This actually might be the last R8 dedicated video because all we really got left is to throw some super sweet wheels on it and also just a few other little minor things that we already ordered that are on the way. So what we're gonna do instead is actually do some wheeling and dealing. As you guys know, we like to reveal to you guys the prices of basically what this thing costed us to just get off the auction and also to fix up. So basically as it sits, we're gonna run through all the numbers. As you guys can tell, we got all the receipts, we got the window sticker, we got this notepad right here with everything written down from used parts, aftermarket parts, to aftermarket stuff that this thing came with. We got MSRP, we got what this thing would cost to use new. We got all sorts of prices right written down right dude. there, dude. And they're gonna be surprised because I believe this is gonna be the best dude. deal ever on a car that we bought, dude. I guarantee you. So basically where we get that from is basically what we could sell this thing for compared to what we got in it. Just, I guess, profit margins, yeah. basically. And I guess on, and we're putting together how much uh, profits we made on other cars Definitely. and what we got into other supercars. And I think right here is gonna be a, some exciting numbers exactly dude. this is probably by far the best but anyways what we're gonna do is just i guess ride around town find a good little spot where we could uh just reveal to you guys the very first price which that very first price is going to be what we purchased this sucker off the auction so let's go ahead and warm this sucker up it's already got e85 in it and let's just hit the road Alrighty guys, so after running around town a little bit here and there, taking care of a few things, you might have seen us actually running to the bank. We were just paying for our next build. Was I supposed to say that? You can say that right now, it's dude. It's too late now. But anyways, that's just a little hint right there. But also we went ahead and took this sucker to the alignment rack, barely made it up on that alignment rack. We had to modify the alignment machine just for this sucker to fit up there dude. because it was like a barely like, like Dude, this car is just right super there, low, but you know what? It was super simple. We just uh, unbolted a few things, but we got this thing now straight. That's dude. right. We had to think outside the box a little bit here and there, but you know what? We got this sucker driving straight. Like you said, steering wheel is perfect. It's like a bullet train. Definitely needed that because with all that power, man, you want to keep that sucker as straight as possible. Yep, especially at high speeds and stuff like exactly. that. Exactly, but we're going to go ahead and reveal to you guys the very first price, the price of this sucker wrecked off the auction with fees and all, $103,598 right there. Dang. Dude man that's, that's that's pretty good dude that's pretty good and plus delivery pops went and got it so we're not going to include that although he did get paid for that or whatnot. Yeah. but anyways we're going to go ahead and actually update you guys on the new goon squad garage while we're at it because it, it was in the area and we're going to show you guys what's going on let's go ahead and pop inside over here 
Um, the electricians have been out here. Is it dark? Can you see? Yeah, I can see. Okay. It's perfect. Just stand this way. But, dude, yeah, the electricians, as you can tell, ladders. But more importantly, we got power going through. We're not yet. We not got yet. electrical going yeah, through. Yeah, they've been out here for a couple of days now, and they're running a bunch of conduit. As you can tell, we got lights. You see those lights up dude, there? Dude, yes, sir. Those are man. some super bright LEDs, and we got a bunch of them throughout the whole entire shop. We got a bunch of regular, like, uh, what do you Receptacles. call it? Receptacles. Receptacles, like, everywhere. Look at that, dude. That's perfect right there. I think we got some. I think we're going to install some along this wall if yeah I'm along this wall well. i mean we told him that we want receptacles everywhere dude. everywhere and also we got like uh 10 220 outlets if you will because we're gonna have lifts in here we're gonna have a frame machine in here oh, I, I might be already saying too much dude you're already saying too much we're fine. gonna have all types of equipment that's gonna like we mentioned we want to be high productivity in here dude that is right dude so it's gonna be super epic we got the 400 amp boxes right there those are super rare right there yeah dude. two 400 amp what. boxes i mean we're glad our electricians uh got us some of those because this power you can't find them, you can't honestly, find them right now dude but other than that dude that's, the office got wired up too let's go, let's go in here dude. dude pops actually ended up framing out a little bit more right here because upon electrician's request right there let's see what's going on in here we got a bunch of cans so this is the office area we're gonna have a fridge right here an oven right here a microwave oven right here you gotta have that dude, dude we like we like to cook we like to eat dude exactly but no hot pockets i know you were thinking hot pockets we gotta start eating healthy you know maybe, that right? maybe some tostitos pizza oh come on <laughs> now that's actually what i was thinking too right there but anyways we're gonna have a nice little cabinet area right there this right here is gonna be the a handicap accessible bathroom we got three cans in there that's plenty of cans dude got a bunch everywhere cans dude here this is another bathroom right here and this is just gonna be like the office area right here gonna have that futon right there and i think we're gonna have like a tv with a camera system right here right? yeah our surveillance system and stuff like that. that's why we did an outlet right there but i believe our desk is gonna be probably in this corner right here it's gonna be super epic got a bunch of cans up here and we got we got the six inch cans right the yep. bigger ones six inch cans are gonna be super bright i guess it all comes down to what we put in there so that's yeah. just like the main box junk, yeah. junction box if you will we still got to snap in the type of led maybe yeah. like a super bright white or a warm Oops. something that's nice on your eyes you yeah, know what i mean definitely 100%. Not too hard on your eyes, but dude this is exciting because here soon we're gonna move everything probably over here and we're gonna be just cranking stuff out dude man. It's gonna be awesome, dude. I know we were saying we wanted to actually bring the helicopter here, but you know what? We already sent the helicopter off, so we might bring the new build here. No, the new build's gonna probably be. We don't know what we're gonna. Honestly, yeah. Honestly, it's gonna be when this shop gets opened up 100%. We're gonna be on the roll. Right now, we're waiting for the electrician like rough-in inspection, yep. and then after rough-in, we're plumbing the inspection. plumbing inspection, and then after that, that's, that's it. it. Dude. All we gotta do is finish up like the grading outside, all the landscaping work, the and parking then, lot, and stuff. And like then that. once all that stuff uh, like passes, uh, then we could actually just go ahead and throw sheetrock, you know, finish everything up, paint everything, and then I think we'll pass our final and then we can officially move in here dude dude it's gonna right be around epic. the corner right that's some super epic stuff going on right there but anyways we need to move on to the next location because we got a bunch of prices that we want to reveal to you guys so let's just keep on driving This thing's about. It's my first time ever driving this thing, dude. So 
You no. said it's you said it's a little bit different than like the Lamborghini, which it's basically the same platform, of course, except yeah. for this guy's twin turbos. Twin turbos and a lot more power. Is it in paddle shifter motor? Now? Yeah, yeah. Wait, you kind of want to get this thing on a straighter road. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't gonna launch it right there. <laughs> Takes some getting used to yeah. for sure. Oh, dude, it's so weird. Like it at about forty-five or five thousand RPM, the boost kicks in. It just like kicks in, and then it then it just wants to go straight. It doesn't even like. That's what I'm saying. You can't do boost on the turn, dude. You have to have it straight because just so much. guys so we made it up here to the mountain and of course we already gave you a price of hundred and three thousand dollars which is pretty dang crazy for this twin turbo audi r8 right here but of course this sucker came damaged so the first thing we started doing was ordering parts and we got a bunch of ebay parts that we purchased and a bunch of dealership parts but we're gonna go over the used parts first off so first things first this quarter panel right here eighteen hundred bucks this race door right here this is a race door right there three thousand dollars that's the cheapest stuff we can find right there radiator behind this quarter panel was 240 bucks side skirt with car Carbon, amazing deal 1400 bucks for the carbon and the side skirt right there which we just purchased a piece of carbon for that side over there which was around like three grand or something like that insane door mirror off a race car as well 550 bucks we had to do some work to it of course we still got this broken uh cap right there we'll definitely replace that soon part seat what do we do with this part seat do you remember your Dude, fingertips my fingers still hurt after that but you know what we saved a bunch of money and we got this interior done a lot faster by buying a part seat for the airbag dude yep, because the dealership couldn't even find an airbag for that seat and i think he said we had to buy the whole entire seat which that was like three grand so for that part seat 650 bucks is just an amazing deal and let me turn the page over here and then of course we had to purchase suspension which was that uh that whole entire area right there which uh 1300 bucks right there not too bad so in total used parts were at eight thousand nine hundred and forty dollars right there that's just used parts of course dealership is always more expensive like most double of the time. or triple dude yeah we're gonna probably go over that a little bit later and we got that list right there but the reason i wanted to come up here is because we plan on doing some stuff up here right yeah we got a few things that we want i mean the house is never 100 percent finished there's still a bunch of stuff that we talked about as you can tell we even got a pile of gravel there that i mean we're just trying to get this property 100 percent a little bit windy but yeah. let's go ahead and i'm just gonna point this out and then we're gonna hide behind this house to get a little bit less wind noise in that camera right there but in that area over there we basically want to lift the ground up a little bit bring in some soil compact it level it out and build like a little like a patio like area. patio area right there maybe a grill maybe a sitting area maybe a fire pit we want to do something epic because we're going to build that house up here real soon and this is going to be like the, the whole compound right here, dude. dude we want this whole entire everything everything around the property to be nice and clean and uh, that's a beautiful view out there we want to at least straighten it out make it usable exactly. Exactly, you know? and we want to probably do that here really soon. Maybe before we even reveal this new build, or what are you thinking? Maybe we should just reveal this build. Who dude. knows, man? Who knows? Who we'll knows? just see. You guys are just going to have to stay tuned. As always, make sure your post notifications are on so you're not missing out on anything. Yeah. But anyways, we're going to probably start heading back to the house, and we'll go over the dealership parts. Good burnout. I'm just kidding. Don't do that.
Alright, so we quickly made it back to the original Goon Squad garage over here where Pops already got the truck and trailer ready to go to Miami right there. Also, we uncovered the Cadillac right here just to kind of get another glance at it. We're going to update you guys real quick on that because that's a loud truck right there. But it sounds pretty good. He probably ain't got no mufflers. Dude, that was a dually Nissan Titan. Oh yeah, that thing drives around town over here. That's Somebody crazy. custom made a dually. <laughs> but anyways, the only thing that's holding us back on that CT5V right there is the radiator support. We ordered like five of them, but they keep getting canceled because they're not available. So yeah, they're not making them anymore. So if anybody can find a radiator support for that thing, we'll finish it up. That's the only thing that's holding us back. New or used, if you guys could help us out, we'd really appreciate that. But now it is time to go over the dealership parts. First thing is first, we're gonna go over the axle shaft, which we couldn't find that at the dealership, except for our online dealer, which that was 1500 bucks. Found an amazing deal. Bumper components, really expensive. All these components, the grills, all the brackets and everything right there was $3,000. That's pretty pricey right there. Roof airbags, we ordered the left and right roof airbag, which was 1200 bucks, so 600 bucks a piece, 1200 total. And of course, quarter panel extensions. We ordered both quarter panel extensions on both sides, which those suckers were 800 bucks a piece, 1600 bucks total. Carbon extension side skirt on that side alone, like we mentioned, it was like 2300 bucks. So we might have been off a little bit, but also. I think that's it for the dealership parts yeah, right there. That should be all the dealership parts. I mean, there was a ton of little miscellaneous parts, but we did add everything up on the final page, you know, like little like yeah. little, like finishing pieces. Yeah, we didn't go over every single dealership part because there was a bunch of like parts. brackets and little things, but the total for the dealership parts is $10,892 right there down to the penny. We're going to go ahead and flip a page. So all parts for this Audi R8 were $19,832. That's new and used parts right Which there. Which is actually pretty good because we were looking around twenty thousand dollars to budget. spend to fi fix this car dude. and i guess we're gonna go ahead and go over the materials list or should we save that for later what do you think i mean dude? might as well go over the might materials well. let's dude. go ahead so we paid about a thousand dollars for paint and of course the protective film was eighteen hundred bucks so in materials we have a, around twenty eight hundred dollars right there let me flip the page again of course we got aftermarket parts might as well not hold back dude, and show you guys yeah. what we spent on this sucker to make it look more aggressive the carbon splitter up front was three thousand dollars right there that's from 1016 industries worth every penny dude best carbon splitter dude, ever dude looks amazing and of course we got these carbon vf engineering vents right here or scoops for three thousand dollars right there dude worth every penny as well there's those look super aggressive and of course we had to purchase a laptop to tune this sucker <laughs> yeah. up that was a thousand bucks and then we still got wheels that are going to be aftermarket so those could range from two to ten thousand they're going to be super crazy so we're not going to include that just yet but in aftermarket parts we spent seven thousand dollars right there dude that is pretty dang wild, Ooh, dude. That made my mouth go dry right there, dude. <laughs> so the car was $103,000, 103598 right there. Parts new and used were 19000 Materials 2800 Aftermarket parts 7000 That brings us to a grand total of $1,000. $1,000. $133,230 right there, dude. Is that what the car and everything right there? That's what the car, parts, materials, and aftermarket parts, new and used parts, everything right there. So that's a grand total price right there. $133,000. So $133,000 into this car, which I say that is a pretty dang gun good deal, dude. That is. We're going to go over why we think it's a pretty dang good good deal, like you said right there, <laughs> probably tomorrow because it is getting a little dark. We may do a little bit more cruising and we'll go over some other crazy stuff that we think is crazy.
right guys, so it's actually the next day here and instead of riding around in the R8 right there, which we'd love to do a little bit more, but you know what? We decided to take care of a few other things on the TRX. We actually tried out some wheel spacers, but it actually just continued to rub even worse. So we're gonna probably just end up lifting up that front end a little bit more, take care of that and just run it how it is. And we even threw on a TRX sticker, TRX badge, and we even took this sucker to a shop to get it bedlined, which they scheduled it for tomorrow morning. And that sucker will be 100% finished up. As for the Jeep, we took care of a few things on it as well. I think it was rubbing when you turn so we threw on some spacers on it and that sucker is ready for the marketplace no check engine light none of that just be on the lookout because that thing is just gonna get snatched up but anyways back onto the r8 we did a little bit of research on prices of what we could possibly sell this sucker for first off let's just mention the msrp what did that window sticker the say, window dude? sticker brand new is two hundred seventeen thousand dollars, but that's with no fees because you know the dealer's gonna Taxes, add on a couple thousand dollars gas guzzler dude. tax or whatever <laughs> you want to call it but also we're gonna go ahead and mention what we found used so basically we found some stock R8s without a twin turbo kit for roughly around two hundred thousand dollars right there, and that's like with eight thousand miles, nowhere near low miles like this yeah, right that's here. That's a twenty twenty R8, but you can't we could, forget. We can't forget this is a decennium, and we cannot find no for sale decenniums, dude, dude. If you find a decennium, you will be lucky. And on top of that, this sucker is twin turbo, and this twin turbo kit is a uh, roughly valued at seventy thousand. So that's just give or take right there. That's not like including all the labor plus the suspension and all that good stuff. So we just wrote down seventy thousand just to be fair with you guys. And the insurance actually valued this sucker at three hundred and thirty thousand dollars. So that's what the copart basically said. It tells you how much somebody insured this car yeah. for. $330,000 so which that's a pretty fair price that's because we did fair. look up some R8 decenniums that were twin turbo yep. and what those suckers run dude $350,000 right dude. there dude that's so well insane. over $300,000 for a twin turbo R8 so I can see why the guy insured this thing for $330,000 yeah it dude. makes sense right there so we were kind of just like throwing it out there and we kind of figured out a number what we would probably sell this sucker for and I think $230,000 is pretty fair that's if we decide to sell it so if you offer us that we'll probably let it go anything other than that we're keeping this sucker right yeah, where it sits we'd dude. rather sell everything else instead of this thing because this thing is just an absolute unit dude. yeah so that's kind of why we said this right here is our best deal ever because of the profit margin so we got 130,000 in it and if we sell it for 230,000 that's a hundred thousand dollars profit right there in a matter of what it would it take us about a month and a half to yeah. get this sucker done you know what i mean that's yeah about a month good, and a dude. half of the tons of labor we're not tons including labor. our labor oh, yeah, you know right. because we're we're doing this for you guys we're recording the videos but that's just what this this uh, car thing is all about. That's dude. what I'm saying, dude. So that's just the numbers. I think it's real interesting just to share that stuff with you guys. But that's all we have right there. Let's see if I have anything else. It's just a blank that's page, it, dude. Man. That's pretty much it, dude. We got something super exciting in the next video. You guys are not going to want to miss out. We're dropping two super epic things. One of the other things is probably going to be more epic than the other, or I don't know which way it's going to go. Both epic, dude. Both are going to be super wild, but make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything. And also, if you want an inside scoop before YouTube, definitely give us a follow on Instagram at Goon Squad. But with all that being said, thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace.